to um, summarize the, the, I guess, the, the thoughts about the kinds of lung cancer. I think I mentioned earlier that, that we used to think of um, lung cancer in two broad categories, as small cell lung cancer and non-small cell lung cancer, non-small cell lung cancer being the majority. It turns out that within non-small cell, there are these subsets, squamous cancers, adenocarcinoma, large cell cancers, and maybe they're not all the same. So maybe we need to differentiate them a little bit more. Furthermore, within those, we've also discovered that there are molecular differences within them that has, has an impact on the way we treat patients. So for example, when we talked about the EGFR mutant lung cancers, those are almost always adenocarcinomas and have a particular uh, therapeutic bent that might be a better treatment. Or the EML4 translocated cancers, they have a particular different type of therapy. One that we haven't mentioned before is, is uh, a, a common, relatively common mutation called RAS or KRAS mutations. Um, to date, we haven't found a great therapy for that yet. Hopefully, it's just time. You know, we, we, we need to test more drugs and need to test better strategies for treating them. But that's certain, certainly um, one of the big uh, uh, um, uh, challenges ahead, I guess, is KRAS mutant lung cancers. And then to find out the rest, there's at least 50% of lung cancers where we really don't know other than their genes are all jumbled up, but we don't know is there a particular genetic abnormality that this patient's going to respond particularly well to. Um, there's a lot of work ahead to figure that out, but uh, I guess the bottom line with thinking about types of lung cancer is where we used to be lumpers, lump everything together as a non-small cell lung cancer, now thoracic oncologists have become much more splitters and splitting off the EGFR mutant cancers, the ALK mutant cancers, uh, and trying to decide what better therapies we might be able to offer.